I want to talk about a supernatural experience that I had last week. I wanted to do this video earlier, but I could not really collect my thoughts. And many things that happened in that supernatural experience, you may call it a dream, but it was a supernatural experience. Many times when we have dreams, it may feel like a dream, but really it isn't. It is a supernatural experience. So allow me to tell you about mine last week. And I had to write everything down because <laughs> there would be no way that I could tell you all about it without writing it down because like my thoughts about it would be scattered. Okay, I had a supernatural dream experience last week. So many details were shown to me. I forgot much of it. I was working in this field with others. I was not working too hard. I was going at a moderate pace, as I usually do. <laughs> The other workers were working harder than I. After a while, many of them stopped working hard and started to relax and talk to the other workers. I believe some of the workers continued to work, but many of them, they stopped working and started to chat with each other and stuff like that. I wanted to stop working as the others, but I resisted. I continued to work. All of a sudden, I was either being translated or transported to this heavenly place. I believe it was a section in heaven. While I was being translated or transported, teleported, whatever you want to say, but I was able to see myself, I don't know how to explain it, but <laughs> I could see my body change, like particle by particle, if that makes any sense. And I knew that it was happening in slow motion, okay. Okay, while I was being translated or transported, teleported, whatever you want to use, it was happening in slow motion. So I could see everything that was happening. It was amazing. I knew exactly what was going on. Once I arrived in this particular place in heaven, I was in the center of this room or area. Now, it felt like a room, but at the same time, like this place was so large. And I knew that I was in the center of this area, room, whatever you want to call it. Okay. In front of me, I saw this large circular object. So it was something like a mirror, I guess you can say, but not. <laughs> so the best way to say it, it was something like a mirror, but not even. Okay, inside of it was a fluid like substance. It is hard to describe. While looking at that circular object, I was being shown the good deeds I did in this life. So, at that point of time, like all through my life, I was being shown the good things that I did in this life. I was not shown any of the bad things I did. The whole entire time I was there, I was not in doubt. Like I knew what was going on. Like I knew exactly 
like where I was at and what was happening. There was no confusion, none. I knew exactly what was going on. I was filled with so much happiness and joy. I did not think about the past pain I had while living on earth. Like when I was at this place, thoughts about this earth did not even come to my mind. Like what happened to me, like my problems that I have now and stuff like that. None of that came to my mind when I was being shown my life on this earth. If that makes any sense to you. Okay. Here we go. Soon after that experience, so soon after I had that heaven experience, I started to descend down to this dark void. So like everything turned pitch black. I knew that I was going down to this other place. And you may guess what it is. It was hell. Okay. I believe I was in hell. While I was descending, some type of demon was speaking to me, saying intimidating words. Like at that time, I knew what that demon was saying to me, but when I woke up, I can't remember what that demon was saying to me. Okay. The words that he was saying to me, he was saying it in a very harsh way, like a very mean way. I forgot what that demon said to me. I could tell that demon was trying to put me in fear. Like I knew that demon could not harm me. It was really just talking trash to me, really. I started to speak back to it. I continued to say, I am covered with the blood of Jesus. I continued to say that over and over again. The more I said it, the less that demon spoke. <coughs> it got to the point where that demon stopped speaking. When that happened, I woke up while I was waking up. I found myself speaking the same words. So while I was going down this dark void or whatever it was, I could not see anything. Only thing that I could hear or, well, I just said that I could not see anything, but I could only hear that demon's words. And the more I said that I am covered by the blood of Jesus or with the blood of Jesus, like that demon would speak less and less and less. So I believe this demon was trying to put me into fear and perhaps the more fear that I would have felt or if I would gave in into that fear, perhaps he would have been able to do something. But since I did not give in to that fear, that demon had to leave. Does that make any sense? Okay. So when I woke up, hmm. So while I was waking up, I found myself speaking the same words. So give me a second, please. Okay. Where am I? While awake, I was thanking God and crying for a while, like I was tearing up, tearing up. I was so happy that I have, that I had that supernatural experience. I did not like the part when I went to hell though. <laughs> I don't think most people would. I love the part where I was being judged based upon my good deeds. The whole experience felt so real. I'm serious, like, it really felt like I was in heaven. I'm serious. 
like I thought that I would not come back to earth I am really serious um I thought that I was going to stay stay in heaven and never come back to earth when I woke up I was really disappointed so that was really an amazing supernatural experience and I'm telling you when I was there like everything I went through on this earth that was bad it did not even come to my mind so you may have been raped or molested or abused or many bad things may have happened to you back in the past once you go to heaven or if you go to heaven your thoughts of it are not going to be there they are just going to fade away so really take heed to this give your life to God forgive the people who have done you wrong follow God's rules and regulations get to heaven and everything is going to be okay God bless